Hi lovely ladies and thank you for watching. So today's video is all about how to enhance your lip shape by creating a little bit of a fuller look and making your lips look voluminous. So I know that this is a very big trend. Kylie Jenner really took this to the next level of how to overline your lips so that it looks absolutely massive and if, as if you have lip fillers. Now, personally, I'm not the biggest fan of this trend, maybe because I already have pretty nice full lips, but also I think that it looks quite ridiculous in real life. On photos, yes, it looks beautiful, but the excessive overdrawing really does not look that great in real life. But I wanted to take the same technique and apply it in a little bit of a minimal way to make it seem a little bit more natural, but still giving a little bit more volume to the lips. So it's very, very simple. This is gonna be a quick video. You don't need a lot of stuff, but before we can do anything, I really do believe in a good lip scrub. You need to prep the lip very well. And this also helps the blood flow to come up and pump, plump up your lips with the blood flow. And that you do with your lip scrub. So I'm going to be using this Revlon lip scrub. It's their Kiss Exfoliating Balm. And it has like a little bit of like a sugar particle. So I'm just gonna put that on my lip. And just massage that in. Slightly agitating the lip. You can do this as well with your toothbrush. Like in my circular motions and homemade scrubs also work really well as well so you can do that mm. okay and then just take that off with a cotton pad right okay so now let's get down to business and that is actually the tools you need to create this volume and that is with lip liners. Now the biggest common mistake people make is that you think that your lip liner needs to match your lipstick but that is not the case when you're trying to create an illusion of fuller lips. You want to use a lip pencil which is a shade to two shades darker than your natural lip color and more on the brown pinky shade range. So I have two very inexpensive ones and the first one I have here is from Rimmel this is their 1000 kisses and this one has a brown cool tone to it it is about two to three shades darker and then I also have one from Diskim. This is the Disco Eyeliner Pencil in the color Light Brown. And this one is more of like a pinky brown. Um, so you can see the difference between the two. So you can decide. I have a few of them. And the thing is about these, they're so inexpensive. So you can try around and see which shade really works the best. But for this demonstration, I'm going to go with the Rimmel which is a cooler brown. It mimics a shadow a lot better than if it is a warmer shade like the Disco one. So basically the theory behind over drawing your lips is to make your lips look a lot fuller, almost like a doll-like um, shape. So we overdraw only on the top part and the bottom part and we follow the exact line of your lips on the sides because you don't want that to be bigger because that's just gonna make your lips look a little bit more clown-like than what we are going for. So um, basically, I always like to start with the sides of my lips and I'm gonna draw on the lines so that I know where I want to connect the overdrawn lines. So I'm gonna start over here and slightly trace this line. Okay. 
Okay, so that's the easy part. Now the next part is to look at your lips face on and decide how much you want to overdraw your lips. But remember, keep in mind that the more you overdraw, the more unnatural it's going to look. So I like to stay right on the very, very, very edge of the beveled part of your lip. So right there at the peak of where your lips end. I like to go about a millimeter above that. Any higher, you are going to see it. So I start in the middle and I follow that line. And then what I like to do is I like to start lower and then slightly build it higher and higher um, until you're very confident in how you want this line to look. Once you've gotten them even, we're going down to the bottom lip and I wanna see the lowest part right over there. And then I connect the two. Right, so once we have the basic shape we want, I like to make this line a lot more thicker so that when I'm going in with my lipstick that I can blend the two together so that there's no definite line like we did in the 90s and early 2000s which is not pretty anymore so I just like to shade in this Right, so that is that for the lip liner. But before we go in with the lipstick, I just wanna go clean the top line up with some concealer. So I'm just gonna use a flat blender brush with my MAC concealer, but again, you can use any concealer. And I'm gonna use the tiniest of amounts just to clean up that line. Okay, so once, once we've done that, we're going in with our lipstick. So you can go for a very nude look, but I'm going for a red lip. But the trick with this and overlining your lips to make it look natural is to use a matte lipstick on top of it. Because if you use a gloss, that gloss is going to sit on the highest points of your lips and it's gonna reflect light. And that is just going to make it more evident that we haven't followed our natural lip line. So I'm just gonna go in with this uh, red NYX liquid suede, which is my go-to red lip. Love this and it is a nice matte finish. And I am going to go in with the one and then I'm going to make sure I neaten it up with a lip brush, especially when I'm doing such an accurate lip. I wanna make sure that it is as precise as possible. And sometimes this is a little bit bulky and I can't get that line completely smooth. So I'm gonna go in with my lip brush.
So as you can see, if you make a mistake, just go back in with concealer and fix those lines. It is hard to draw lines on your, straight lines on your face. So if you make a mistake, it's easy to fix, but practice does make perfect. So here I did the same lip look without using the technique. It is just as beautiful, but not as voluminous. And here you can see with the technique, it is a lot bigger, a lot fuller, but still looks very natural. So thank you for watching, ladies. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you're watching this on Facebook, please give it a like because I'll be back very soon.